Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel tonight and welcome to Live Miss number two. I'm excited to get to hang out with all of you tonight for this swatch party. But if we haven't met, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Welcome to everyone. I hope you're all ready for this watch party. I am very excited to dip into this new to me brand. I know that I, I think I know that everyone here knows that I am a huge single shadow lover, and this is a brand that was brought to my attention by a fellow makeup lover and subscriber who said, hey, given what I think I know about your preferences, I think you will really enjoy this brand. And so I was like, hey, I got to try these out. And of course, we're talking about Dandelions. So this is an indie brand, and it is an LGBTQ plus owned brand. It is cruelty free and vegan, and I am excited to dive into the these shadows with you tonight. We're going to do all the swatches. I'm not quite sure why I wore a light sweater. I'm just feeling dangerous. <laughs> I'm feeling dangerous. And we're going to get into this now. The last time that I did Live Miss last week, there were a lot of requests in the chat. I was saying like, hey, what do you guys want to see for this year's Live Miss? And a lot of people were asking about doing a like, I guess, a breakdown, a battle between brands, between the BK Beauty Brushes and Lara Fay, because I talk about both of these brands here on my channel. I do enjoy both brands and they are both cruelty-free, vegan, bristled, synthetic brushes. So I just wanted to give you guys a little like demo, a little bit of thoughts on pros and cons from each brand. So we'll be doing one look with BK Beauty and one look with Lara Fay as well. And of course, I will answer any questions that you all have in the comments down below. So if you are watching this later, feel free. Uh, if you weren't able to get into the chat, make sure that you leave me comments and I will make sure to get back to you on those because I definitely want to be able to answer any questions that you have. Hello, everybody. I just want to take a second to see who's in the chat here. Hey, Sansare and Steven. Hi, Linda. Glad you could make up, make it and make up. <laughs> hey, Amanda. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Rupi. Yay. I'm so excited that you were able to make this because I will be honest, I got all mats from Danny Lyons. And so we have, I don't even know, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we have a baker's dozen plus of shadows to swatch tonight and use. Uh, I did decide to get all mattes just because that's what I hear that this brand really excels at. And to be honest, I have, well, I have enough eyeshadow in my collection forever, but I definitely have enough shimmer shadows. And, you know, in all honesty, I just felt like this would be the way to start with the brand. And I, I just feel like from looking at swatches, I feel like the mats are going to be more where it's at for me. And we can talk a little bit about like, price comparisons and things like that in here. If you would like, I was doing a little looky loo on other indie brands as well as, you know, right before this video to really get a feel for the value of this brand versus some others. So, uh, Ruby, <laughs> that is, that is super funny. Where did, where did I, <laughs> well, you know, I mean, live premiere, it's kind of the same. There's still a chat going on this way. I'm just able to chat with you face to face in person as uh, as we do this. So let's see here. Yeah, Amanda, I will definitely be getting into prices as well as we get into this. So for sure. Uh, okay, I'm missing. What is this? IIRC? Yeah, I must be old too. I don't know what this is. Is that a thing? Oh, if I remember correctly, Stephen, wow. Thank you for making both Rupi and I feel old and not hip on the, the shorthand lingo. <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead and dive into this brand. Now, like I said, um, I was introduced this brand by a fellow makeup lover. So Regina, if you do get to watch this, thank you so much for giving me a little like taste. So she was super sweet and actually swatched out some of her favorite shades from the brand. She mentioned like, hey, I know that you like some softer mattes and I feel like Dandelions is one of those brands. So um, I have to say, I like a lot of different formulas of mattes, but I'm someone who doesn't mind a softer matte. So, uh, and by soft, I mean the formula and the texture of it, not like necessarily the pigment load. So um, we will definitely see what, what we feel about these shadows. So I tried, I tried to get shades that I don't feel like I have 
in other brands because at this point I don't want to keep duping myself. <laughs> I've done it enough. I've done it enough with sparkly shadows and I don't necessarily want to do it with matte shadows. So you can see here, uh, I got some greens because I had to, but I really, here's one thing. Was it one of the BYOPs that I did? I was looking for like a true, true, like grass green and I could not find one. I have murky greens. I have grungy greens. I have some like funky pukey greens. I did not have anything that was green green. So I definitely had to do that. Hey Maria, thanks for hopping in. Uh, and then of course, I'm always on a quest for the best yellow and the best funky, mustardy, dirty camel shade. Uh, I also feel like I'm missing some pinks and purples in my life. It's not something that I grab for a lot, but just to be able to balance out palettes when I do them and to, you know, be able to really round out a look, I wanted to be able to get a few of those. And then, of course, a few neutrals. Listen, don't we all feel like we have a lot of, like, neutral browns? Neutrals in general, but... When I was going through and swatching recently, like all of my browns, I was like, okay, I feel like I have some red leaning browns, some cool leaning browns, some orangey leaning browns, and I didn't feel like I had like a neutral neutral brown. So we'll see how this one does here, this one right here. So uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, I'm just gonna take a second and catch up. Oh, see, this is why I didn't know this one because I don't work in an office. <laughs> Yeah. So Linda, I agree. I really feel like, especially in their mats, they have a lot of, you know, fun, different shades. And I think that that's maybe going to be one of the things that sets this brand unique. Yes, Amanda, they are uh, talc and paraben free as well. Yes. Oh, Rupi, you know, we love a good grungy, like mustardy shade. And there is one in here that's called Dijon, but a couple of these are kind of mustardy. I'm really excited. Oh, Linda. Yeah. You know, it is very easy to do. <laughs> It's very easy to do when you start looking at all the pretties from different brands and it's like, oh, okay. Uh, I think I might've just like doubled myself. I've done it several times, which is why I've started like sharing some shadow like dupes or cousins or sisters on Instagram just to be able to show people, hey, if you have one of these, maybe you don't need another because it's very easy to do. Okay, Steven, it's good to know. Like I know you and I were talking. Um, I didn't realize that you had some shimmers though. So you know, here's the thing. For those of us that have a lot of indie makeup and have a lot of shadows, I feel like we all have certain shimmer formulas that we love. And I think a lot of us love a really impactful shimmer, like a really shimmy shimmer. And I didn't feel like that's what this brand is bringing to the table. Um, so, yeah. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the pricing on this brand. So I was looking at the mats, and they did, by the way, just bring out a palette. Um, they do have several palettes, but they did just launch one called To a Fruitful End, if you want to see that on their Instagram. But I wanted to pull up their eyeshadow. So the matte shadows are listed at $450 for... Uh, like a single shadow. Now you can get them as just the single pan. They are a standard 26 millimeter pan, but you can also get them with a case. So if you want to have it as like a single case shadow, you could do that as well. I don't feel like many of us do that anymore, but if that was something that floats your boat, you could do that. Now, when I bought these shadows, I did buy them during the Black Friday sale. And so they were 35% um, off. And so they actually came down to $2.92 a piece. Now, some of the shadows that I got were from that new palette, which I love that the brand offers. If you don't want to get the whole palette, you can just get individual singles, but those ones were not on sale because they had obviously just launched. So those ones were still $4.50. Even at full price, that's less expensive than other brands like Davina. Uh, their mats are $6. Sydney Grace is $5.25. Um, so, you know, I still feel like this is a very affordable brand, even at full price. Okay. So I just want to give some first impressions. Uh, I will say that the brand packaged up my shadows very well. They were all bubble wrapped really nicely in several stacks. This is, and you maybe saw on my Instagram when I was sharing, this is how they come packaged. So, um, you know, this is definitely a very handmade brand. 
I'm just going to say that everything about this speaks very handmade. So if that's something that you don't enjoy, then you might not like this brand, but it comes in a little cardboard. You can see that they've done like a little punch out and then it has a little baggie with the shadow inside. Uh, none of my shadows came broken or even like dusted or anything. So um, that was really nice. And then I like the fact that I know that I can at least, I'm, I don't think that these would be recyclable, maybe, but I know for sure the cardboard is. So I really appreciated that as well. So let's take a look at some of these shadows. Now, the one thing that I have to say just off, like right off the bat, on the bat, what's the, right at the bat, whatever that, wow, I'm totally like, what is that saying? Like, anyway, um, the, the label is, you know, definitely just like a hand printed label, not hand printed, but printed off of a computer. And the only thing that I will say is they're all, the stickers that they use on the back are just a tiny bit too big for the pan. So they actually, oh, can you guys see that? Like they come off the bat. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Linda. So the stickers will all be like slightly askew because they're a little bit big for the pans. That's like a little, that's like a Virgo thing where I'm like, Ugh. these are going to start looking grungy after a while because the labels are going to be kind of side stuck. And I will say like some of them are like more slightly askew than others. So I'm just going to be real with that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Kendra, <laughs> my single sister. Yeah, those stickers will come off. So just, just knowing that right there which I feel like, I mean, I don't know what is available like printer sticker wise, but oh, I would just wish that they would like be able to slim these down just a little bit. And you just even like the pans, they, they feel a little more like entry level as far as like just the feel of the pan. But also I got these for under $3 a piece for most of them, you know, like sometimes you get what you pay for. And if these are beautifully performing shadows, it's okay. Um, I will just have to write on a marker if they do start to come off after a while. I know, right, Rupee, like that's like, that's a really good price point. So we'll have to see how these go. And I will be honest with you, I have not touched any of these. I have not swatched any of them. I wanted to leave all of my first impressions with you. Um, and then we'll see how they work on the eyes as well, which is why I don't, which is why I don't have any, uh, any opinions yet? Hey, Regina, thank you so much. Thank you so much for introducing me to this brand and for all your swatches. I appreciate you. Uh, I'm definitely excited to dive into these. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive in. Of course, we're going to start with the grungy greens. Let's see here. I'm going to tuck this hair behind my ear. So this first one that we have here is Dirty Martini. This one's really pretty. Did I get out my wipes? I thought I did. Where did I put them? <laughs> I'm going to have to find them. You know, when you're like, okay, Mayday, where did I put them? I was doing some organization. Ah, I found them. They're in the top drawer. All right. Uh, I was doing some organization in here before. So Dirty Martini is definitely like an acidic green. This is already reminding me of a color that I have from Glam Shop. Regina, I'm glad that you're here because I know that you've used this brand a lot. Oh, see that already. I'm going to turn this light down just a little bit. Oh, that looks nice. Yeah. Um, Regina, I'll be curious to know, like, if you feel like I do about like Divina Cosmetics mats where they're a little bit softer, a bit more powdery in texture, but they build up like you can shear them out really nicely, but they build up really nicely as well. Whereas like some brands that have a bit more of a creamy formula, sometimes it's like once it's on, it's on. And then like there's no blending. There's it's over <laughs> game over. OK, so this next one, I think, is a very popular shade. This is Army Pants and Flip Flops. So you can see I'm trying to make sure. Yeah, you're you're seeing a pretty true color. So it's like a army green with almost like a little bit of a khaki tone to it. It's just a little murkier than the dirty martini shade. And these are very, very soft. So you can see that one just has a little bit more of that like browned out shade. It's a little more grungy. Love that. Okay, the next one is NV. This is, it's a bright green, but it's not quite as like 
true green as the next one. This almost has like a little bit of like a softened out feel to it. Hey, Locke, thanks for hopping in. I'm going to give this one another swatch here. So you can definitely see they'll like, you know, shear out nicely, but I think it builds up as well. And you can probably tell, I'll do it on my next one. There's definitely a bit more of like a powder feel at the beginning. Oh, this one's going to get the pinky, the pinky. <laughs> it's like the pinky is for the shadow that you don't love. Okay. This is nature. So this is that more like true green shade. I feel like now it's like getting a little dark. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, I wouldn't normally like go in as hard if I wasn't swatching, but I am getting a bit of like fallout off of these shadows. I don't know why this does this. One of these days I'm going to figure this out. Okay. You're not quite seeing the difference between these. Are these like that similar? No. Oh, you might not be able to see that. I feel like it's just a little bit more vibrant and less murky. I feel like it's almost looking like slightly blue toned on the camera, but it's not. It's actually more of like a green green. Okay, I need those wipes. So while I'm wiping the first four, I'm going to kind of take a, take a peek here. All right, so great. That's good to know. They build nicely. I would, honestly, I would rather have something that I have to work with and build. Oh, Steven, that kind of surprises me about you. I would think that you, <laughs> that you would, that you would go, I mean, for me, there's a balance. There's a balance between paying for packaging, paying for the experience, the the look of something, and then the quality and the performance of the actual product. Um, it's just like slightly, slightly, uh, I don't know, the stickers thing. It's just going to get me a little bit. Okay, so the empty palettes, I can look that up right now while my fingers are drying. So Amanda, the magnetic palettes are $12 full price for an 18 eyeshadow or 12 shadows is $11. And they are like the individually weld shadow palettes. So it's not like this, like it's not like a, like a Z palette where it's open, it's individual wells. So it kind of depends on if you have a preference. All right, so let's get into some of these grungy mustardy tones. So this first one is Dijon. Yeah, these are very soft. I would say they're maybe even a little bit softer than Davina. Oh, look at that beautiful color. I love it. We need more real estate. Oh, I love this so much. Hey, Jody. Yeah, for sure. I definitely, I definitely get that like at the sale price, it's a very good deal. Uh, I also want to say, cause I just saw that one of my pans slipped. I don't feel like the magnet, I don't know if it's because of the metal that's in here, but I don't feel like this is the strongest magnetization. So I don't know if I would like travel with these. Cause I feel like they might like pop loose out of my magnet, but you could always like put a put a stronger magnet on if you really wanted to. Okay. So one of these next two, or actually maybe it's both of these next two are from the new, the new palette. I'm actually going to double check that on my invoice here. Yeah. Zesty is zesty. And then, so these next two are from the new palette. This one is zesty and it's close to Dijon, but a little bit different. That last one, Dijon felt a little bit softer, even more powdery. So this has a bit more, I would say almost more of like an orangey base. 
and it's just a bit deeper. So close-ish. Okay. Ooh, Rupee, that is, that is a good question. Uh, 40 is a lot. I honestly, so when Makeup Geek announced that they were going out of business, business, <laughs> business, I just bought up a ton of those ones because I like their clear palettes. They don't hold 40 shadows in them, but that was what I preferred. I honestly haven't gotten any since then because I got so many, um, but maybe somebody else here in the chat will have a, a good recommendation. All right, this next one is Invigorate, and this is also a new shade. I tell you, I am constantly looking for the prettiest yellows, the most vibrant yellows, those shades that are just going to like be super sunny and fun to use. My computer is going to be covered in eyeshadow. This is a very pretty shade. It's sort of like a marigold yellow, you know, more like that, like sunflower yellow. Hey, Kelsey. Okay, so can I be honest? You you all know that I love Sydney Grace. Um, as I'm swatching sunlight, this one is so pretty. It's like bright and yellow. I'm really excited to see how it compares to the one yellow um, matte that I have from Glam Shop. So this one um, was like one of the first shades that I put in my basket. But anyway, as I was saying about the, I'm going to bring this back up, uh, the Sydney Grace Large Magnetic Palette. So I have one right here because I thought since I got all mattes, I thought we'd need some shimmers to play with. And I thought, why don't I bring out a shimmer focused brand, I guess I would say, that's close in cost to that. And that would be Pretties for Your Face. So I brought out my Pretties for Your Face stash to use tonight. But here's the thing. Sorry to blind you. Uh, the Sydney Grace Magnetic Palette, I don't know if you guys can see here. It's just ever so slight, but this dips a little bit. So both of them that I have, uh, they the pans touch on the top. So you can see that there. Like, So I get like little dinks from the palette. And these ones obviously have mirrors in them. And I think Rupi had said that she was looking for something that doesn't have a mirror. Um, but so the Sydney Grace ones, the bigger ones aren't really my favorite because I think that they need to be like a quarter inch thicker, in my opinion. All right, I'm going to put this yellow on. If it ends up being funky, it's probably because there's still a little bit of green on my finger. Nah, we got a clean one here. But these are like, they are very powdery. Not going to lie. But that's pretty good for a yellow. So let me see if I can kind of show. So maybe I can show like on the green. Are you going to focus camera? Oh, it just fell out onto my hand. Can you guys see that? I'm just, that was from a finger swatch. I don't think that using a brush is going to make things crumble quite as much, but these are definitely softer. Uh, boy, Kelsey, that's a good question. Um, you know, I think if they're as thick as the regular, like Sydney gray shadows, they probably will touch, I think towards the middle. Yeah. Rupee. I love the design. Um, like, Oh, no, mm -mm. this here. I love the design. I think Millie did a great job with it. It's just the actual, like, the lid of the palette just dips so much. Oh, that's, that's good to know. So the limited edition 2022 palette from Davina also dips. Mm. It's just like, can we just make them like slightly thicker? That would be great. Oh, Ruby, that's a good, that's a good question. That might be, that might be the issue right there. Okay, let's get into these pinks now that I've got clean and dry fingers. So here we have the shade Sweet Scent. I'm going to move over to my other arm here. This is a pretty shade. So just a nice, like, 
you know, light pink tone. Oh, fingers and pans. <laughs> this next one is shortcake. So this is kind of along the same lines as the last shade. It's just a little bit deeper. I was just finding, like, I don't, I have peaches. I have some like cranberry shades, but I didn't really have many like pinks in my collection. Oh, this is definitely a bit warmer pink. Hold on. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to just like build both of these up and we can really see the difference. So yeah, that's that first shade. Sweet scent is a lighter, cooler pink. And then the shade Shortcake is a deeper, warmer pink. All right. Oh, Medium Olive, thank you for chiming in on those. I, um, I have a Salt New York palette that I use for the Salt New York products. I've never used it for shadows, though, but obviously you totally could. And then... The adept ones, Stephen. I think you said that you have one of those, right? I have the the trifold one, and I don't. I wish that I hadn't gotten that. It just takes up too much space. That's what I have all my Sydney Grayson right now, and I have I have regrets. <laughs> okay, this one, Jody. This is a very you shade. If you're still in here, I don't know if you have this one, but this is Wraith, and this is a like grayed out purple. This actually reminds me of one that I have from Davina. This might be kind of close to Esme. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're, we got, we got fallout everywhere. I'll have to, I'll have to post to Instagram so you guys can see the state of my computer right now, since it's like right under the swatching station. So that is Wraith. It's very pretty. So do, for those of you that are here in the chat, do you want me to like pull out some other brands and see if I have dupes for these or no, let me know. I will do it after this part of the swatching um, if you want to see that. But just like right now, I'm like, oh, Wraith, I might have one that's like similar to that. Okay, so let's move into these like warms and browns. We have this shade Cardinal Call. This is another one that right away I knew that I wanted to get. I do feel like I might have a Sydney Gray shade that's sort of close, but I might be wrong. Uh, I don't know. I feel like this one might be kind of unique to my collection so far. I mean, it's probably not a shock, but this is one that I think I'm really going to enjoy. I don't know what that chunk of whatever was right there. That's really pretty. That's Cardinal Call. That's gorgeous. I love a good red brown. If you have green eyes and you don't necessarily want to wear like red on your eyes to like enhance your eye color, I think red browns look gorgeous. It just like gives you that little bit of pop, especially even if you just like run it really close to your lash line as a deepening shade, that color just like really brings out the green. Um, I think it also works really well for like blue eyes, especially if you pair it with something kind of like orangey brown. All right, this is the shade Toasty. So again, it's just a really nice like brown matte. Oh, by the way, for those of you, speaking of like swatches and mess. Uh, for those of you that saw that picture of my jacket getting lipstick swatches all over it, uh, it did come out in the wash. I was very, I was very pleasantly surprised. Put a little shout on that, threw it in the wash. We were good to go. Okay. So this last shade, I'm really excited to try this one. This is just like a nice deep brown, but now looking at it, it, it almost looks like it has a tinge of like chocolate raspberry fudge like that like slightly purpley tone. So this is Volcahar. Ooh, it's super like deep and rich though. I mean, so far, I think I'm really going to enjoy these. This is kind of reminding me a little bit of a Dorn from Divina Cosmetics, but it, maybe a little bit different tone. Maybe not quite as like I think Adorn has like a little bit of like ready purple in here. All right, cool. So that is, that is it. That is all of the swatches so far. I'm very excited. Nothing came up patchy. Um, I do think that a couple of these look sort of similar, which I kind of knew like these two, I knew that those were going to be somewhat close, 
these two are a little bit closer than I thought that they were going to be. We might have to see on the eye how much, um, how, how close they are. I don't know why, but my thing is saying, oh, oh, okay. I hope I don't lose you guys. I just realized that my, um, battery was not plugged in all the way. Battery is not charging. Why? Why aren't you charging? Okay, I'm going to wipe these swatches off. I should have, like, kept them on to see. <laughs> Volkahar is one that needs a light hand. I can tell that already, Regina. Okay, I'm just going back through... Just to check the chat. Okay. I think what I'll do later is if I see anything that I think I have a dupe for, I'll post it on my Instagram at Keep Beauty Real. Um, I'll just do some like swatch comparisons in the next like couple days or so so that we can see those. Oh, Kelsey, what kind of look am I feeling? Um, I'm going to do two just because we have so many shadows here. So I don't know. We'll have to see. Like something kind of you know, like greeny. Uh oh, hold on. My mouse isn't working now. I just, I just got it wet. <laughs> there was so much, there was so much dust from the swatches. Um, I think something greens and then, you know, greens and mustards, I think we'll do together. And then maybe something with the deep shades. So something like really like smoky. So I'm just going to hop off the screen for a second though, because I have to figure out what the heck is going on with my, oh no. It is. Okay. It's, it's charging now. Cool. We should be good. I hope I don't lose you guys. Okay. So let me just get caught up on the chat. Okay, cool. So what we'll do, I'm just going to pull my hair back. Let's, let's get down to business, shall we? So we'll do um, Lara Faye on one side and we'll do BK Beauty on the other. So for those of you that are popping in now, I did want to do just a little comparison between the two brands. I love both of these brands and I can't, right off the bat, I can't necessarily say that I think that one is like much better quality than the other one. I think that they both have their pros and cons and I'll talk about that a little bit as we go through. Yeah. Okay, Stephen. I will definitely do that. I'll give you like a little, a little summary at the end. Is there any shade from in here that any, is anybody like looking to see something in particular? I have a feeling just with these shades. Now I am usually a, um, an eye makeup before other makeup kind of person. And given how powdery these are, I feel like that's the way that I would personally go just so that I don't feel like I get much fallout, but I do have a bit of makeup on today. And since we were doing very uh, budget friendly shadows tonight, I used all like very budget friendly drugstore makeup on my face. So that's all listed down in the description box. If you want to check it out, um, I have to say that I put on the flower beauty light illusion foundation and I haven't worn this one in a really long time. And I'm like, Oh yeah, now I remember why I love this so much. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through the purple gray. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll, I'll try to get, I'll try to get everybody in here. I tell you what, you know what I might do? Um, Lisa, I'm going to be doing a like bluey silvery look on Instagram uh, per request by Linda. And so I might go ahead and use, if I don't use that shade tonight, I will go ahead and use it in that Instagram look for sure. All right. So let's talk a little bit about Lara Faye. So if you aren't familiar with the brand, they are a UK based brand. Uh, I have quickly fallen in love with their brushes. They have beautiful quality brushes. They have this lovely blue set. They have some that are black, and they have some that are pink and I believe that are red. Now, the only thing about that is every brush set, every color set has different brushes in it. The reason that I chose the blue, um, I have the blue eye brush and then I have a few of the other blue brushes. The reason I chose the blue eye brush set is because it has more of what I prefer in brushes, which is smaller, that's not a BK Beauty, or that's a BK Beauty one. They have smaller eye brushes, whereas some of the other sets have larger eye brushes. They are all available individually as well. I also love this blue shade. 
So I have two of the eye brush sets and then some other brushes. Um, I purchased all of these with my own money. I do have one face brush that the brand sent me complimentary in one of my orders and that one I fell in love with too. So we're gonna go ahead and use these tonight. So let's start out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go through with the E. Uh, let's go through with the E13. So this is a really nice like shading blender. The one thing that I like about these is they have for me just the perfect amount of density versus fluffiness and they're very, very soft. These have held up really nicely. I think that they stay looking luxe and beautiful and I've been really happy with them so far. Yes, oh yes, Rupee, I'm totally gonna do two looks for sure. All right. Oh, Amanda, I have never tried Cosette. Okay, so we're gonna go in with, let's start with that NV shade. So that's the second brightest green. And I'm definitely gonna tap. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna do some tapping. Oh, and I thought I would do one side. So I have some concealer on my lids right now. I thought I would do one side um, just with concealer and then I'll do one, oh, one side with primer. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this. Do these smell? Hold up. No, it must be my brush cleaner. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, do these smell good? They don't smell bad, but they don't, they don't smell good. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit. And that's again that NV shade. I mean, that went on pretty nicely, like right away. It's it's not even coming up as vibrant, um, thanks to streaming, as it is in person. And then I'm going to take a little bit of that next shade, Nature, and we'll go into that one. So that's that really bright, like, grass green. Yeah, Rupee, so the thing about the Flower Beauty Foundation, um, I always mix it with a little something. Like I mix it with a little bit of moisturizer. I mix it with, you know, the like uh, niacinamide dew drops from Glow Recipe because it is fairly full coverage in my opinion. And I think you're kind of like me where you don't do a lot of full coverage. So I like to like sheer it out a little bit. Ooh, I mean, that's some pigment right there. Wow, okay. That's awesome. I really, really like that. I mean, these are beautiful. Like that is some really colorful, high impact shadow right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a slightly smaller brush and we're gonna go in with, let's go in with that dirty martini shade. No, I'm lying. We're gonna go in with army pants and flip flops. Look, uh, so far, the tiniest bit of fallout from, I think, that last shade, but, like, the tiniest, most minimum amount. Okay, I'm going to actually zoom you all in. Hi. I forgot I could zoom in. Technology. Okay, so this is that Army Pants shade. And I'm just blending that almost to the front. Yeah, that's what I was, I don't know how I just got your comment up there, Amanda, but that's what I was planning on doing was one, one on each eye. Okay, so let's go through, I am gonna go through with Dirty Martini here. My goal is just to use as many of these as possible and not make it look like a paint by number, I'm gonna be honest. So if my StreamYard little like monitor thing is true to what you guys are seeing on YouTube, you're not seeing the vibrancy here. So I'll have to like um, do like a little 
Instagram picture and see if I can get it to look more true. And then I'm just going to gently now with no color on my brush, I'm just going to sort of swipe through all of these to get a bit of a blend. And I just have like a, a little microfiber cloth on my lap, by the way, that I'm just like wiping these off on. I'm going to take a little bit more of that army pants shade. And then a little bit more of what was that called? Envy? Yeah. I just feel like it got lost in the blend. Okay. Oh yeah, Grinch. You know what? I don't have that shade. I don't think. I was going to get it because of you and then I don't think I ever actually did. Yes, uh, Amanda, I'm gonna use BK Beauty on the other side. I figured like we'll go side by side. Uh, Steven, I always do tap my brushes. Absolutely, every time. Just like a little tap, tap. I'm not like one of those like old school like YouTubers who's like, quang, quang. <laughs> like, I don't do that. Oh, Jody, it's good to know. It's good to know your um, opinion there. So I'll be honest, like what I do when I tap my brush is I tap it right back into the pan. Because then the next time I go through, I try to like pick that up on the brush to like save myself. Okay, so which, okay, so we're going to take Invigorate. That's that lighter, like the lighter kind of goldenrod color. And I'm just going to blend that up here. Getting a little bit, <laughs> that just kind of fell down a little bit. And I'm just sort of blending these two together. They're blending together like really nicely. This is when I wish I could have like a little like music going in the background. Okay, let's take Zesty. That's that like nice kind of like mustardy shade. That's one of the new ones as well. Oh yeah. By the way, I'm using the E11 brush. This brush is um, kind of similar to one of the shapes of, I think it's one of um, Angie's brushes with BK Beauty. But this could actually like double in a pinch as like a pencil brush, like a big pencil brush. Okay, so then the very end here, I'm going to take this fluffy brush. This is the E14, and I'm just going to run that clean like there's nothing on my brush. And I'm just going to use that to like soften out that edge. I might take a little bit more. So far, nothing on the sweater. That's a good sign. Just gonna take a little bit more. And then just for kicks and giggles, I'm taking that Dijon shade. That's the like slightly lighter mustard. And I'm gonna trace that out. Okay, and then we're gonna go back through with that blending brush. If I can figure out where I put it, it's in my hand. Wow. And I'm just going to kind of like detail through here. So how was everybody's weekend? I know it's been, it's a Monday now. Did anybody do anything fun? Oh, Linda. So when I tap, I literally go like this. Like it's not like a quang quang on anything. It, I just do like a little tap tap. Oh, Ruby, we're, we're tapping sisters. I like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
I might, I might have to look into that. I, I saw that she was using music and I was like, Ooh, aren't you going to get like copyrighted for that? <laughs> okay. So, so far I have to say, I'm really, I'm really liking this. I kind of wish that I had, I, I kind of wish that I had waited and not put that color all the way in here. Cause I wanted to use that bright yellow, but I guess we're going to use it on the under eye. I have to say, I don't know if you can see, but there is very minimal, very, very minimal fallout there. So I'm just going to take my Lara Fay F11. I love this brush. This is like become my new under eye setting brush. I think it's, I think it's actually a highlighter brush, but you can use whatever you want for whatever you want. Okay. So we're going to take a clean brush. We've got an E11 here, and then I'm going to go into that really, really bright yellow, that sunlight shade. So for those of you that have been kind of interested in Lara Fay, um, I have linked both the brand site down below and then also the All Beauty website um, where they have Lara Fay. So it might be, and I would think even to like Canada, Rupi, I don't know if you've ever looked into seeing what shipping is, but if you are ordering from the Lara Fay site, I would say like if you're getting a good discount and you're ordering quite a bit of brushes, uh, it, it's probably worth it to go through the brand. Um, shipping to the States is about 20 bucks. So you definitely want to make it worth it. I feel like, you know, it's like, I can't complain too much because here in the States, we've just been pretty spoiled. You know, a lot of other areas have shipping and taxes and duties. So it's like, I'm not going to complain about a UK brand that I have to pay a little bit more shipping in. But if you're looking to just get a couple items right now, all beauty does have a few layer of face sets. They have the blue eye brush set. They have the whole set with the face brushes and the eye brushes. They have the black full set. And then I think maybe the pink set, um, but it does say clearance. So I don't know if they're getting rid of them or not, but the nice thing about that is they have a pretty low free shipping threshold. So sometimes depending on, you know, conversion rate and the shipping costs, it might actually be cheaper to actually go through all beauty, even if you're not getting as much of a discount. Yeah, Steven, I'm so sorry. That's been, that was really nice of you though, to play Dr. Steven. Okay. So to draw it in, I think I'm going to use a little bit of that. Let's see. What was the color of that? That zesty shade. And this again is that the E11 brush. This is the one that I was saying like can be a big pencil brush if you need it in a pinch. And I'm definitely going like big and smoky here, everybody. And then let's go through. First, I'm going to take, what is this one? I have a liner brush from Lara Fay that I'm digging for right now. Here we go. I'm just going to take the small little liner brush and use that really bright green shade. Yeah, this is the one that's giving me a bit of fallout, but nothing that I can't handle. And honestly, I feel like most of the time with uh, like liner brushes, every single time I use powder on a liner brush, I feel like I get a little bit of fallout just because it's so concentrated. Now, the nice thing about a powdery matte, though, is I feel like it whisks away a little easier than like one that's a bit more creamy. So we definitely got some like murky goodness here. I am going to take a brush with that Envy. Nope. Yeah, Envy on it and just do a little more detailing here where these two colors meet. I'm just not feeling the, uh, the, what was it called? The army pants and flip flops with these other colors. It like almost looks like I don't have shadow there. It's not the shadow. It's just that it's like a little bit more murky. Oh yeah. Linda, that's nice. It's good to know that, um, they had really speedy shipping shipping. 
yes, Regina, I'm, <laughs> I'm so excited that you got to get out and go see a show. That's so great. Okay. All right. So really quickly, I am just going to pull out a Pretty Sphere face shade. Let's use this one. I think this is going to be a good one. So this is the shade Explosive. And I'm going to put this on the Larifay E18. So this is just like a nice flat brush. You could use this for concealer. You could use it for putting color all over the lid too. I'm obviously going to do just that. And I am going to wet my brush because every time I use pretties for your face shadows, I always wet my brush. Let's find some fix plus here. I was thinking maybe I'd pull out my shade loves bin, but it's so it's more like leaning like bluey. So I don't want to do that. Yeah, Stephen, that's, it's like, it's like the one thing it's like, well, the more fallout prone formulas are also the ones that are like easy to whisk away, I guess. Oh, I might end up using my finger for this one. It's like really flaky in the pan. Let's see if we can get it on. Oh, there we go. I don't know if it's the brush. I've not had a problem like using shadows with this brush. So it must just be this pretty for your face shadow. It's just a little drier. So this is one of the polymorphs. I'm going to try using my finger just to intensify it a little bit. Where's Aileen when you need her? I'm sitting here using my fingers for shadow and she's not even here to witness it. Okay. Get out the trusty highlighter slash fallout slash under eye powder brush. I like that. I always like to take a brush after I put on a lid shade and just buff that lid shade into the crease. I just, I just don't like every time I try to like be an Instagram baddie and do a cut crease, it just drives me nuts. So I just always like to have like a, <laughs> like a soft little like uh, blended moment. All right. Just going to catch up here. Uh, Amanda, I did not get that. Um, I think it's beautiful, but I know that most, not most, but some of the shades in there, I wouldn't use, I wouldn't grab that often. And so I didn't pick it up. I think it's a beautiful color story. And I, like I've mentioned to a lot of people, and I think I mentioned in the video that I did, um, you know, I would much rather have Mel's bundle than the Natasha Denona one, but it just wasn't something that I needed to get. I'd rather just get... A bunch of shadows that I know that I'm going to use from Sydney Grace. All right, Jody, you are team. You are team finger. <laughs> yeah, Kelsey, isn't this pretty? It did take a little finessing. Like I find that the pretties for your face shades, um, you know, and I'm I'm an affiliate with the brand, and I got to make two shades. But I will definitely say that some of them take a little finessing. You usually want to use them damp, and you know they obviously pop a little bit more with the finger. But usually with a damp brush or like glitter glue, I find that they work great for the price. Like I always recommend getting the fifty percent off sale because like this polymorph is normally ten dollars, but if you get it for half off, then it goes down to five. Um, and then you know if you use a code like mine, like Keep Beauty Real, you get an extra twenty percent off. It's like so crazy ridiculous. So I, I love these. Oh, Linda, you wore lovelies today. I love that. That makes me so happy. Okay. Hi, Melissa. Thank you so much. Ooh, <laughs> it's very lizard. I will take that as a compliment. Okay. So let's go ahead. I'm just going to throw on some mascara quick, just so we get um, a good look at the final product here. 
Love my rougher curler. And since we are going with all uh, low cost items, I'm going to go through with the Essence Lash Princess. This is the false lash effect. This this mascara actually looks really pretty on the eye, but um, if you saw the video that I did when I was trying out a few things, uh, I love the look of this, but it did smudge on me, which was kind of a bummer. So I won't use this one on my lower lashes usually. I'm going to tonight because I'm going to wash this off later. Jeremy and I are having a date night in. We're doing steaks on the grill and some asparagus, <laughs> but I don't think he's going to care if my mascara smudges. And he gets to have two, he gets to have a two-faced uh, partner. So we'll see what side of me he wants to sit on. All right. So there you can see the finished look. Let me see if I can zoom you in any further. I'm not quite sure if I got all the way in. Ooh, we can get like another little inch in. I mean, I feel like those blended really nicely. I think that you have to be someone who's okay with a powdery shadow. I definitely got like a little powder. The fallout was minimal. It all whisked off. I mean, you can see I don't really have much of anything on my face. So for the price, I'm pretty impressed so far. Yes, agreed. That's right. We I think we've actually talked about produce for your face before, Kelsey. Yeah. All right, so other side, switching it up. So let's do some of these like deep neutrally tones. So now we're gonna switch over to BK Beauty. Um, and then at the end, if you guys want, um, I can talk a little bit, I'm just gonna run through this more quickly, um, but I can talk a little bit about the brushes but we can kind of compare some shapes because I don't have that many um, face brushes from Lara Fay. Not because I don't think they're good because all of the ones that I do have, I love. I just kind of had to like slow my roll on brushes, <laughs> but um, I do love the ones that I have. So before I go into the other side, I do want to just show you the other two. So I talked a little bit about the F11. This is a great brush. I think it's a multitasker. You could use it for under eye powder, for spot powdering, for highlight, for powder bronzer, if you're like me and your team small brush. So the other two brushes that I have, this is the one that Lara Faye sent me with my very first order, and I fell in love with this. This is the F15. Now, this came out, well, I got this like a year ago. So this one I love uh, because it is great for cream contour, for cream blush. It's what I use to put on my liquid blush today. I have the Flower Blush Balm on. Um, I have used this to do like a quick face before I got this one. So this is the F09, and this is obviously like a big daddy of that shape, but its bristles are a little bit longer and it's a little bit softer. So if you're familiar with the BK Beauty 101, I can show you here the size difference. Let me make sure I'm in frame. So they're similar in size, but a little bit different. I would say, I feel like the 101 is more dense, but a little floppier, just because I think it has more of the longer bristles. So it just kind of depends on what you like. Now here is the smaller 109. This is from the new core extension. And then here is the F15. Now um, I was talking to the brand about the F15. I was talking to Lara Faye and they were saying that they've been having some issues, um, I think in the manufacturing of the F15 right now. So they don't have any available, but I'm really hoping that it comes back soon because I really love this one. The big difference between the 109 and the F15 is definitely the density. Like the 109 from BK Beauty is much softer. It's less dense. So it kind of depends on what you want. You're going to get a lot more buffing capacity out of the Lara Fay, whereas this one's a little bit lighter, a little bit softer. Not as in like the texture, but like in the less density. All right. You guys are all getting a lovely advertisement in here. Thank you so much. So if anybody's looking for hot girls, there you go. Love that. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and move into BK Beauty. So I pulled out shapes that I thought were similar. 
to the Lara Faye. And that's one thing that I will say is right now, BK, I believe, um, so Lara Faye just celebrated their two year birthday this week. And I think BK has been around a while longer than that. I'm not quite sure, but I do definitely think that BK has a wider variety of brushes, but that's just because I haven't gotten anything other than the blue eye set. So I could totally be wrong there. So I just pulled out brushes that I think are more similar to the, um, the Lara Faye set that I have so that we can try those out. So a lot of those, by the way, are going to be the Angie Hot and Flashy brushes and then some of the new core extensions. So I have the 211 and the 212 in here as well. So those are going to be a little bit more similar. Um, the one brush that is also a bit similar to different shape, but the AO5 is going to be more like that uh, flat shader brush. Now, I will say, heck yeah, Kelsey, all the hot girls are right here. They must have a an access, an access to our hotline. Uh, so I have washed my BK Beauty brushes and my Lara Faye many times. I like them both a lot. Um, I will definitely go into that at the end and we can kind of like talk just like pros and cons of everything about the brush shapes, about the brush quality, but they are in general, both really nice quality. Okay, so as I get in here into this next set, uh, I do just want to mention to everybody, and I should have maybe mentioned this at the beginning for people who are watching this not live, but I am doing a giveaway in this video. And so for anybody who's here in the chat right now, you will get an extra entry into this giveaway. Uh, you just have to drop a star into the chat right now and you'll be entered. And then I finally got my... Um, my Google Forms or Jeremy's Google Forms more uh, working. So there's a Google Doc or a Google Form in the description that you'll have to fill out. And it's really just a private way for me to get a contact for you. And you'll have to know the magic word and you'll have to enter it into that Google Form. And I'll be sharing that after we're done with this eye look. So you just got to stick around for the magic word. <laughs> But uh, if you're watching this and you're not watching it live, you still have an opportunity to enter. It's just everybody who came tonight, uh, the live squad gets an extra entry and you'll get to see what it is at the uh, at the end of this video. OK, I'm going to get going here because I'm sure Jeremy's starting to make stakes. So let's go through with the. I'm going to go through with the 202 brush. This is a little bit more tapered Woo. and we're going through with that like darker, like reddy brown shade. Now, anytime that I'm like working with a shadow that is a little bit dustier and I feel like it might have more fall fallout, I kind of like press it in as I go so that I'm not like windshield wipering and then like kicking powder everywhere. Oh, this is so pretty. See, and this is going to be one of those shadows that, because I'm going to blend this up like and just really really blur it out this is like one of those shadows that can almost look like two in one you know i mean that whoa that blended out like butter like a very powdery butter like astronaut butter <laughs> freeze-dried butter baby oh linda there was not a magic word last week Thank you, Jody. I, I love colors like this. You know me. Okay, so. Hmm. <laughs> I think now we'll go ahead and take. Let's take the Angie Hot and Flashy A504. I probably don't have to say Angie Hot and Flashy every time. If I say A, it's an Angie Hot and Flashy. Oh, yeah, that. I think they're very close, Kelsey. You're probably really right. And we're going to go into that dark shade, that Volkihar. The one that Regina said you need a, a delicate hand with. This is pretty. Okay, so far I have, I just have like a couple specks of fallout from this shade but like not much of anything.
this is a very pretty color. I wish that I had gotten like one super cohesive color story or I wish that I had like three eyeballs, but I don't. Which color is that? Uh, okay, so the first one I put down was Cardinal Call, the reddish brown. And then this one is Volkahar. It's V-O-L-K-I-H-A-R. Hope that's helpful. Okay, then I'm just going to take the 212 brush and just blend this edge out a little bit more. Um, and by the way, all of my giveaways, so I'm going to be doing a giveaway for every live miss that I do. I think we'll have two more, two more, the week of Christmas and then the week of New Year's. Uh, they'll have a giveaway in each one. And all of those will be for U.S. and Canada residents. I almost feel like I blended that out a little too much, but that's okay. That gives me an opportunity to use a different color. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to go back into Zesty. That's one of those like kind of murky, grungy mustards. I know that a lot of people go towards like cool tones in the fall and or in the winter, but I wear warm tones all year round. I am starting to get a little bit more into cool tones, but... uh you know, sometimes in the winter, like, I just feel, like, more awake <laughs> and, like, alive with a warm-toned look. And some days I just need that, you know? It's like a cup of coffee. The hard thing is I, I'm, like, looking at the stream yard and I'm like, why do I look like I'm looking down? Oh, it's because I am. I need to just look in the freaking mirror. <laughs> okay, so now let's go through with... Uh, let's see. I'm going to take a pencil brush from BK. I'm sure that I have one. I just took, I just cleaned the shader from them earlier today. Where did you go, my lovely? As Kelly digs through her 974 brushes to find the pencil brush. Oh, for Pete's sake, where is it? I don't know. I don't know where it is. That's all right. We will just grab a different brush here. So we're going to use that other brown. Oh, Regina, I would love that. I would really love that. Uh, Linda, that's a good question. So I don't think they definitely blend, but I don't think that they blend away too easily. Like, for the most, for the most part, I think that it stayed really well. And the one thing that's really good is they, they don't blend away patchy. You know what I mean? Like sometimes that can happen where it not only blends away, but it gets kind of like not cute, like kind of patchy. And I didn't have that happen with this. Okay. We're going to go ahead and I'm still, I'm still searching for that other brush y'all. I want to, I want to find that one. It's what I get for cleaning all my brushes off. Rude. Oh, no, this one will work. Okay, we're going to take the tiny little um, flat shader, the 209. So I'm going to dip into Toasty, and that's what we're going to use on our lower lash line. Just make this really nice and smoky. And I'm carrying that out just to kind of like meet up. This shade has a little bit of like a warm undertone to it as well. Hey, Steven, you're totally fine. Do not even worry about it. Hey, Zana. I'm just blending that out. I mean, that looks pretty good, I think. Okay, let's go ahead and put some shimma shimma on. What do you want to see here? Let's do some orange and yellow. Why not?
Okay, so I'm going to take the shade Thankful. This is a very pretty one. And I'm again going to get that wet. And I am using the A505. This is kind of like a flakier shade. So we're going to tap it on to start with. And I don't feel like I got much fallout from these shades at all. Like it could be that I'm just like getting used to working with the formula, but I'm getting more fallout from the Pretty For Your Face shade thanks to the flaky texture, uh, not necessarily the mattes. So that's a good sign. pretty. All right. So then I'm going to take a little bit of the shade happy days. That's this kind of like peachy moment. And I'm just going to tap a little bit of that on the outside here. And let's go in with a highlight shade on the inner corner. Got to touch all my yellows. Ooh, this I have four yellows from Pretty for Your Face. Okay, we're just going to grab one. I'm just going to grab one and do it. I don't have anything that I want to use for an inner corner, though, from BK Beauty. So I'm just going to grab this Katie Jane Hughes Spectrum uh, brush. And we're going to go into let's go into the shade Golden Aries. Oh, Stephen, I think you have this one because I think I got it for you in your secret shopper shade because you're an Aries. <laughs> if you're still here, have you ever used it? And we're going to pop that on the inner corner. I got a little bit of fallout. And you know, I don't really have a brush from BK Beauty that I like to use for fallout because all of their brushes that are shaped like this are more densely packed. The closest I would have is the 108. I didn't do too bad though. All right. I like it. I'm just going to like smooth this out. That thankful shade is definitely a little bit more flaky, but it's very pretty. All right. Just for kicks and giggles, we're going to go ahead and dip back into that original shade, Cardinal something, Cardinal Call. And I'm just going to deepen up right here. All right, boom, that's it. Curl the lashes, what do you guys think? I like it. So I have to say, I mean, honestly, for the price of these, especially if you're able to get a sale, I don't know how often the brand does sales. Um, but I think, I mean, even at full price, $450, that's pretty good. If you're okay with a softer, more powdery formula, it's a pretty good deal. We'll just whack this on really quick and then we'll zoom out and we can chat a little bit.
and I will let you know what you all just entered the giveaway for. So if anybody's hopping into the chat right now and you've been joining in, you can gain an extra entry to this week's giveaway by dropping some stars into the chat. Um, if you are watching this uh, after the fact, you can still get an entry, but you, you won't get the extra entry. And the Google form will be in the description. So all that I ask is that you like this video, obviously. I'd love it if you subscribe and you just have to fill out the Google form and you have to know the magic word, which I'm about to tell all of you. Ooh, okay, let's take the hair out. Well, let's, we're not gonna take my hair out. We're just gonna like let it down and we're gonna zoom out. I mean, I'm pretty happy with these. I am going to take my trusty E or F11 brush and just whisk a little bit more of this away. But that was from the Pretties for Your Face shade. Okay. Um, so Zana, there was no Google form for the last one. So all I asked people to do was, um, I just asked that people like leave a comment with their, with a way to get a hold of them. So either an email or a, an Instagram handle. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people, especially in the live, if you were in the live last week, um, make sure that you like, even if you just want to go back to last week's video, that giveaway video, um, and make sure you leave your contact info. Cause I don't think that anybody actually did. So I had a couple of people I posted on Instagram, like, Hey, don't forget that you need to do that. Um, you still have until Wednesday to do that. And people to enter this giveaway, um, will have until next Monday morning. So I'm leaving it open for about a week. But there was no Google form last week because Google and I got in a fight and Google won. <laughs> okay, so my thoughts on these, I'm going to give you those in just a second, but let's go into what I'm giving away this week. Now, last week was my 3K giveaway. So that was, you know, the big one. So if you haven't joined in on that one, make sure that you go and check out that video um, because that giveaway is going to be closing in just a couple days. But for today, I just want to do a thank you to everybody who is so supportive of my channel. And I love getting to hang out with all of you. So I love to give a little extra reward to people who can join the live, but I do want to give everyone a chance to enter. So since we're talking single shadows this week, I have a, a little collection of single shadows that I'm going to be gifting out to one lucky winner. So uh, we do have a single... A uh, biodegradable loose glitter in here. We have the shade Earth and Sea. It's this beautiful, like, multi-chromatic, kind of like sea foamy green, very mermaid vibes. And then we have two Sydney Grace shades. I don't want to open them up, but we have this one's more like a hazy green tone, greeny blue. I think that these were doubles in my mystery bag. Um, and then this one is pretty too. So that's like a lovely mat. And I love my mystery bags from this year. So I was excited to be able to share. We do have a, I'm not going to say that one yet. All right. So we do have a variety of Makeup Geek shadows. So I was really excited to be able to go and get a few Makeup Geek. Um, I know that they actually still have things available on the website, but I definitely ran out and got some. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, is that seven? Let me count. Yeah, seven Makeup Geek shadows in here. So you'll get to try some Makeup Geek. I This was my very first brand that I tried of single shadows. Uh, back in the day when they were really given MAC, like they pushed aside MAC in the single shadow world. And I love Makeup Geek and uh, I love Marlena. So I was excited to be able to share these with you. And then I'm also giving out some pretties for your face shadows. I'm giving out my shades. I'm giving out Lovelies and Lovesbend. So if you win this giveaway, you'll get each of my collab shades with the brand. I'm really excited to be able to share these with someone. All right. So that is the giveaway. It's all single shadows, baby. And hopefully uh, this video inspired you to dip more into single shadows if you don't already. And if you do already, you have a chance to win even more. <laughs> So like I said, uh, definitely make sure you fill out that Google form. You'll have until next Monday, uh, which would be, let me just pull up a calendar for anybody that is watching this later. So that's going to be uh, Monday morning, the 19th. And then I will make sure to uh, announce that giveaway winner as well. Uh, thank you all for hanging on in. And the magic word 
for this giveaway. I've had a lot of it today. It's coffee. <laughs> so in the form, you'll have to say uh, coffee. So there's a spot for the magic word. Lord knows I've been drinking a lot of it. Now I have switched to water, but there was lots of coffee had today. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about these shadows. I have to say these remind me a lot of... I would say they're a good mix somewhere between Davina and Glam Shop. I will say that they are softer than Davina as far as like the the feel of them in the pan. So I know that some of you maybe haven't tried Glam Shop. Um, that of course is an indie brand based out of Poland. So I know that a lot of people didn't want to pay the shipping from Poland, but I know that there are some people in here who have definitely bought them. And you know how those like almost like uh, scale in the pan, like they flake up a little bit. That's what I was finding with a couple of these shades, not all of them. Um, but I definitely find that these are a little bit softer than Davina and they're more on the texture of Glam Shop. I do think that these ones, Linda was asking, um, earlier about the blendability or like how, if these blend away, I do think that these shadows blend away a little bit more than Davina, but not as much as Glam Shop. I personally find that with Glam Shop, because they are a little bit more dry and powdery, you can blend those away. So that's one thing. And that's that's just my opinion. Um, but they are very nice. I mean, when you're looking at $4.50 at full price, you know, when I got them on Black Friday, they were $2.90 a crack. That was a really good deal. And I think that it's great to be able to support another small business. I think that if you are okay with a softer shadow and you want something like, I feel like this shade, that Cardinal Call shade is a good example of why I like a formula like that. Because the only place that I put that, uh, like mustardy shade was here. So this is all just one shade. And I think that being able to blend and blur that out is a really nice option. Um, it just makes for a beautiful soft effect. All right, just kind of like checking up. Oh, Regina, you might get a chance. You might get a chance. <laughs> okay, so, and I, I actually just watched Marlena's video uh, the other day talking about like what's been going on in her life and everything. And I was not... So I was not aware that Makeup Geek still had things available on the site. I was like, oh, they still have some things in stock. So um, I was kind of surprised by that. Oh, hi, Natalia. Great to see you. Uh, oh, okay. So you've only ever tried Terra Moons and Davina as far as like single shadows. I mean, those are those are two of my favorite brands. So that was a good, that was a good place to start. Okay, so just a little like rundown on the brushes. So as far as BK Beauty and Lara Fago, like I said, the one thing that I th think that I see is um, if you want to buy a bundle or if you have like a certain feel about like the colors. So I have to be honest, I love, I think that the BK Beauty brushes are very chic and they look very elegant. I really, and I know that, you know, it was Angie's aesthetic, but I definitely like this brush, the original look better than the new brush. Um, I do also have to say that I wish that because the new core extension, you know, Lisa talked about how a lot of people wanted to see a smaller brush, a smaller handle. I think that that kind of bums me out. I really do like a long handled brush. Like if you look here, I think that the Lara Fay is a little bit longer than the BK Beauty. Ooh, just by like a nibbin. Th that's not a real word, but we're going to go with it. So the fact that the core extension is even a little bit smaller, I, I really like a long handled brush, but I think that they both feel really nice and luxe in the hand. They both wash up really nicely. The ferrule has stayed on. I haven't had any problems with them. So I think that they're both really high quality, but you know, all of these brushes are available. You only have one style choice to choose from. Whereas this, if you really love the look of the blue, you can't get all of the different brush shapes in the blue. So you have to kind of have a mishmash. So if that doesn't matter to you, if you're like me and you have like 740 brushes and they're all from different brands, then that's fine. But if you really want to keep to like one set, you're going to be limited in your options. Um, other than that, you know, obviously for people who are here in the States or maybe, you know, not in the UK, just in general, you're going to pay a little bit more shipping for um, Lara Fay. Rupi, I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know if Ruby's still in here, but I don't even know like what BK charges to ship to Canada. So they obviously have a shipping charge probably too, if you're out of the States. So, you know, that's one thing to say as well. 
Ugh, am I going to have a winner? <sighs> ah, I, you know what? I wish, so I would be lying. I would be lying if I said that I do. I don't, I don't necessarily. I like the diversity of shapes that BK has. I think, and maybe it's just because most of my Larafe is a little bit newer, but I do think that my Larafe are a little bit softer. Like, I feel like the bristles are just a little bit softer than BK Beauty. Ooh, Liz, what do you think? Because I know that you have some from both. Do you feel like the Lair Affair a little softer than the BK Beauty? Hi, Liz, by the way. Thanks for coming on. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. I that's, that's the only thing for me is they are a little bit softer. BK Beauty are not scratchy in any way. And I should have said this at the beginning because it's only fair to to say I am an affiliate with BK Beauty. So the affiliate link is listed down below. I do have a code. If you ever wanna use that, it's Keep Beauty Real. That doesn't get me any commission or anything. So if you just wanna use the code and you don't wanna give me a kickback, you can totally do that. But some of the BK Beauty brushes I have, have been gifted to me. So I just wanna say that. But all of my thoughts are totally my thoughts. I just told you that I feel like this brand is a little bit softer in the bristles. So obviously I'm being honest with you, but I love both of them. I love the quality of both. Um, I just haven't tried enough of the Lara Faye brushes, of the face brushes, to really be able to give you a rundown of those. But what I have tried, I really love. And it's been really quality. So for me, it's kind of like six of one, half a dozen of the other. Okay, Liz is agreeing with me that they might be just a smidge softer. I don't think that it's necessarily something that's going to like make or break it at the end of the day. So that's that's probably like the only difference I can say. Oh, Jody, that's right. You have both as well. That's right. Because I told you how much I love the layer of faith. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Brush diversity. You know, I, I am just all about like, I guess I don't think I would ever be the person who wears only one makeup brand or uses only one brush brand. You know, I've definitely phased into certain brush brands than others. Like I will definitely say <coughs> that I feel like both BK Beauty and Lara Fay are higher quality than Spectrum. They're also higher quality than like Luxie Beauty. I have Luxie and I have Spectrum brushes. Um, I love my KJH and Spectrum set, mostly for the shapes, because I think Katie did an amazing job picking shapes that are really, really usable. But I don't feel like that set of brushes is as high quality as either of these brands today. Will I still use them and love them? Absolutely. Um, so yeah. Okay, I'm just kind of making sure that I've got everybody. Ah, uh, softer. You know, when I say softer, I just mean like a softer feel on the eye, but like just barely. So I think that they both pick up product as equally. So I don't think that it's neither in like, I don't think that it shows in the performance of the brush. I think it's just like the feel of the brush. That's a good question, Amanda. Thank you for letting me clarify that. Yes, Linda, you will definitely have to let me know how you like your Lara Faye. I'm excited to hear. Yeah, Stephen, that's a good point. I mean, I think I, you know, kind of mentioned that. I don't know. I don't know which areas both brands ship to. Um, and like I said, I don't know what BK is outside of the States, but obviously you're going to be charged less in, you know, in the States as far as like shipping and obviously there's no conversion rate. So, you know, that does make a difference. Um, but I think if you catch a good sale, like Lara Faye the other day had 50% off the entire site. If you're going to, if you're looking to get a whole collection of brushes, like you're like, yeah, I want a full set. I think that that kind of makes it worth the value. If you're just looking to get an eye brush set, maybe not, but right now they are listed on all beauty. So I'm hoping that they're staying. I don't know why it's saying that they're like clearancing out. I should probably have asked the brand that. Um, but, you know, that is another option for those of us that are in the States. Okay. Uh, I, so Liz, I would agree with you. Um, Amanda was just asking, like, do I prefer? I do think that certain products like tightly pressed or like Liz was saying, the gelée, you know, products like, uh, for instance, like the House Labs highlighters, which I don't actually have one of those anymore because it was like a glitter bomb. But, um, you know, some of those products that can be a little bit harder to pick up or like a baked product, it is nice to have something just a bit more stiff. Um, but sometimes that's even just more like the density of the brush, not necessarily the roughness. So 
I don't, I prefer softer, like I have a couple brushes that I used to use that now I'm like, oh my gosh, kind of scratchy on the eye. And some of them are synthetics. And honestly, some of them are real hair. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like a couple pencil brushes where it's like, I can't even use this anymore. Um, so, you know, like it's kind of that, that difference there. All right. If no one has any more questions, I'm 15 minutes into my date night with my fiance. <laughs> So hopefully he's understanding and he's going to enjoy these looks. I hope that this was helpful to you. If you haven't tried Dandelions, I hope that maybe you'll check out the brand on Instagram. Um, they have a lot of different like swatches and things. You can definitely check out uh, their website, which I have linked down below as well. Um, I, like I said, I don't know how often they do sales, but at four fifty dollars a crack, that's a really good, that's a really good price. All right, lovelies. It's been great to talk to you. Oh, Steven, this question. Uh, yes, actually, I'm just going to address this one. So actually in the Lara Fay set, um, I personally would consider this a lip brush and it is listed as L01. So this is a lip brush 01. But I, what I normally use these for is for like an inner corner. Um, so I, I don't think that BK Beauty has a lip brush, but I could be wrong about that, but I don't think I don't think that BK has one. If they do, I will make sure to put a comment <laughs> on this video correcting that. But I know I definitely don't have one. So I don't think that there is one. All right, lovelies. Thank you so much. It's been great to hang out with you again. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. If you just popped in, don't forget to drop those stars in the comments here to gain that extra entry. Love you all. It's been great. Next week, the live will be on Monday night again. Uh, I wanted to keep it a little further away from Christmas for those of you that are going to be doing things. So we're going to do it on Monday night again, probably sometime between six and seven. Uh, and then we'll see about the next week, but more giveaways to come. I appreciate you all so much. I know that I say it in a lot of videos, but it really does mean so much that you take some time out of your day to spend it with me and I will see you really soon.